Hey everyone, how's it going? Bobby Watts here with Team Futaba and OS Engines. Today, uh, my good friend Kerry Surley has asked me to give his uh, model equipped with the OS GT15 HZ new gasoline engine. Uh, he, he wanted me to give it a spin, so uh, brought me out and I've been flying it for a little while and it's really fun. So as you can see here, it's a um, little bit of a modification he did. It's a uh, Fury 55 modified using some of the whiplash parts, I think. Um, this motor drops in, in a, it's the same size as like a 90 size nitro motor, so it'll drop in any 700 size helicopter. The problem is for the gasoline motor, it's just not quite enough displacement to provide the power that we want. So he's posted some videos of me flying his other machines with the GT15, and it's just not quite enough umph. But this one, I think he's got the magic combination. So this one, we're running 620s, 600 millimeter blades or 620s. And I think that that's a really good disc size for this, uh, for this motor. It provides some decent power, actually. It's, I mean, it's respect, uh, respectable power, I would say, for just an out-of-the-box engine. So uh, let's take a look here. This is the uh, GT15HZ with the Power Boost pipe from OS. So I just started flying this one today, and uh, not too comfortable with it yet, but we'll give it a whirl. So the power isn't too bad. And we're still tweaking with the motor to get rid of the, uh, the little shakes. Right, here we go. Now this is, we're running like a 7.9 rig gear ratio. And it does pretty good actually. I mean it's not, it's not like the electrics, but it's, um, it's pretty respectable I'd say. The thing is with this model, it's pretty smooth too. I mean, we're not having, it's not shaking like crazy. TikToks. I mean, it's not, it's not half bad really. I forget his head speed on this model. Maybe 2000, 1900, something like that. And the thing is, it sounds good too. This is the power boost pipe. And it doesn't whine like a lot of the gassers that I hear out there. I mean, it actually sounds halfway decent. We got a little bit of wind today, so. Punch out's respectable. You know, we can do a big loop here and watch, see the pull. Yeah, good. So I would say something like this would be nice in like a, you know, like any 600 size model that you can cram it into. You know, maybe even if some of the manufacturers want to, uh, start modifying some of their current 600 class helicopters to allow for this engine to fit.
pretty smooth here. Even in a hover, we got a little bit of a shake here. But just a, like a tuning thing, I guess. I'm not a gasser expert. But for a plug and play motor, not half bad. I'd be happy with that. So for sport flying, I definitely think that this has enough power. Um, even, I would say, just mild, mild to heavy 3D, it really did quite well. Um, let's see, temperature here. We can take a look at our display. Temperature here, 150, 147 after the flight. I mean, that's not bad at all for a, uh, for a decent you know, 3D flight here. And we can fly all day for, I don't know, $2 or something. He's running a uh, 25 to 1 oil mixer ratio, um, synthetic, put gas in and go. So this one's fun. So this is the OSGT15HZ with the power boost pipe. Check it out.